Hi, this is Michelle Yarovsky, product lead for analytics at UiPath, and today I'll be giving you a quick overview of Insights, our analytics product. So as you can see, this is the homepage of Insights, and we've pre-provided you four templates. Processes, queues, and robots are for more operational sides of analytics for things like the number of automations run, success rate, how many transactions have completed, how many hours your robots have worked, and the ROI template is a way for you to get started calculating the business benefits that you've received from RPA. So let's take a look at the processes template. This template is all about deployment health. You can see quick measures like the number of processes that have run, average job duration, as well as any long jobs, success rate of your automations, which is the number one metric you'd like to look at to make sure that your deployment is running smoothly, a breakdown of your processes by status. Very important metric here, top 10 processes with faulted jobs. This lets you know if there's any job that happens to be erroring out more than the rest and a way to drill down into those errors. So anytime that you have a dashboard and you have key KPIs that you're interested in, but you don't wanna have to keep coming back to the dashboard to check on them, you can set an alert. So you can see here, I've already set an alert on success rate. Let's take a look at it. Now my alert here is that when the success rate is greater than 90, it should send me an email. And the frequency with which this should evaluate is every day. You can obviously customize this and the time is at five. You can add alerts onto any single value metric or even any other type of widget like this. Other things you can do here to make sure that you're staying informed is to schedule the delivery of the template now this can be done with any template or even any dashboard you've created yourself. You can pick the recurrence of the schedule, pick the time, destination, for now it's just email, but this may extend later. By default, the email that will be set is the email of the user that schedules the dashboard for delivery. You can change this to any email that you want. It does not have to be someone who's a user of this tenant of insights. It doesn't even have to be someone who's a member of Automation Cloud. This is your way to send dashboards to people who need to stay informed without having to have them go through adding themselves to the system, accessing the system. They can just get a nice PDF or CSV or PNG of this dashboard in their inbox. So think something like sending to an IT manager or even sending a business dashboard to a CFO. These are the pre-existing filters, which you can change. You can also write a custom message, pick the paper size, and even pick the delivery time then. Now the last thing you can do for any of these tiles is to download the data, which will download as a CSV, or you can explore from here, which is a way for you to expand on the data without affecting this current dashboard. So let's go back to our homepage. Now these are the templates, as I mentioned, if you'd like to customize them, you are free to make a copy of any of these templates to your dashboards. Now you can see here, I've already made quite a few copies. If we just click into one of them, you'll see it is an exact replica of the template, but now this is mine to customize as I see fit. So if you'd like to make any changes to this dashboard, if you wanna add a new tile, you can do that. If you'd like to add a text block, you can do that. If you wanna change the filters, you can do that as well. And then once you're done, you can come back to your homepage and you have the option to share this dashboard with your tenant. Tenant is everyone who has access to Insights. This is a way for you to create your own company out of the box dashboards, leveraging our templates as a starting point. Now you don't have to use our templates as a starting point at all. If you would like to start from scratch, you can just create a new dashboard, give it a dashboard name, and now this is yours. This will give you an empty dashboard and you can get started. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you here is the ROI data set. So keep in mind, this can only be configured by admins. Now let's take a look at what the ROI data set is. So the ROI data set page is a place where your admin can enter in manual time in minutes, as in how long it would take a human to complete one iteration of the process, hourly costs for them to do so, 
and then up to 10 custom business benefits that you would like to measure or calculations you'd like to have as part of your formulas for ROI. So you can enter these values in per process or per queue. So queues are using transactions and you don't want to be calculating ROI for processes that use queues in the same way because multiple transactions make up one process, whereas some processes you just want to measure end to end as one. So if we take a look at these processes, we'll see we've entered a lot of values here. And if we wanted to add one more custom column, we can just do it this way. Now my column is added with default values of one. Keep in mind, when you go back to the ROI template, which we'll do in a second, all of the template calculations are done per process, not per queue. So if you'd like to edit those and use queues, you'll just have to make some formula adjustments. And the templates only use these two default columns. So we have another video where you can see how to configure the ROI data set. So I suggest you check that out. Let's go back and take a look at our dashboard. Now this is the ROI template. This is where you can get started calculating time and money saved. So all of those calculations that you'd like to customize, you can easily do by making a copy of this template and then adding all of those custom columns you've added to the formulas. Let's quickly take a look at what that would look like. We'll make a copy here and it'll take me right to the copy. Now, if we'd like to edit this dashboard, we will edit the time saved calculation. And here it'll take you to an explore page. So this is the process manual values explore, which you can think of as a general bucket for which all of the ROI values for processes are under. So we have things like the jobs view, which is everything you need to know about your jobs from orchestrator as well as the process manual values. So any data set for your processes for the ROI data set. If you'd like to do a combination with Q values, you have them available to you here as well and the queues view. So this is your way to combine calculations if needed. But let's go back to the process manual values explore. Now those custom columns I was showing you, is it queue, Michelle test, number of FTEs, they're all here. So if you'd like to use them in your formulas, you can just edit any of them and include them. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of our videos.